What's going on guys? Awesome Nerd Show here and today we're doing more Marvel Legends and this time we have the Venom Wave with the Build-A-Figure of Monster Venom. So as you can see of course this is you know coming out f probably for the new Venom movie I assume because of that logo. Not exactly sure. It could just be in general just a wave of Venom figures. So we're starting off here. We've got a Venom. Then we've got Carnage over here. Then we've got Poison and Spider-Ham which is funny because it's a pig. And then our last two is Scream and Typhoid Mary and so we're gonna as usual open each one of these and we've got the uh, Venom stuff in the back here so you can see the pieces and stuff for the Build-A-Figure there and so at the very end we'll put them all together with the giant Venom Build-A-Figure and so I think it'll look really cool so let's go ahead and get into them. And first up from the set we have Venom himself so of course the main feature of this whole set is Venom and so we've got him with his normal head here so of course this is Eddie Brock and so that's this is based off the comic and everything so that's his look there from the comics of his just normal human looking face which is really big and ugly and he looks old so he's supposed to you know usually is like was a person in school with Peter Parker but he looks super old compared to what Peter would be and stuff. But here we've got, of course, his like flat top hair with the blonde and everything. And he's got the dark brown eyebrows and the big giant nose and face and everything. But there we've got Eddie Brock. His head seems really loose for some reason. Like, I feel it's going to fall off or something. But then going down, we've got this stuff of, the, I guess, the Venom or Symbiote probably because it's, you know, coming off of his head. So instead of his face being covered with the Venom face usually you know it's all spread apart so it's you know like this so he can talk and then it form back up around his face and I assume that's what's supposed to be and I believe yeah it's probably a thing here in the back so you could take it off if you wanted to but we'll just leave it on then going in so he's in his all black suit of course with the white spots going on here so he's got the white spider is what this is supposed to be because it's based off um, since the very first uh, symbiote form or whatever was on spider-man it got the spider form on his chest there and so now it's like continue or carried over into the other forms and stuff and so we got that then he's got these white marks here on his hands from of course when he was like the black spider-man um, it had this as well. It's there on the back also. And so it's a normal Marvel Legends. So there's no special like movements or anything going on. It's just got all the same movements of every other Marvel Legend figure. So we don't have to look at all of that. But we've got the Eddie Brock. And of course I looked up these all these characters because I didn't know a whole lot about any of these Venom uh, people and stuff. And so of course the symbiote come from I think it's Clintar, Clintar, I don't know exactly, but it's whatever, that's like the planet or whatever they're from, it's like Clintar symbiotes, and so that's what all these symbiotes are, and of course, we mentioned that's Eddie Brock already, you can tell by his face, but um, for, for some of his uh, power stuff, he's got all the powers of Spider-Man, since obviously it formed first to Spider-Man, and then switched over to Eddie Brock, he's got all his powers, so he can, you know, shoot webs and all sorts of stuff. He has shape-shifting abilities, so obviously with stuff like this, you can see, you know, it's got different shaping abilities. It's got autonomous defense, which if you see the Venom trailer for the, you know, movie, um, he's, you can kind of see that where people, you know, are getting ready to shoot him and stuff, shoots out his back and, like, you know, kills them and stuff. So he's got that sort of defense going on him, and with his whole, like, ability stuff, he's undetectable by Spider-Man's spider sense. So he can always sneak up on Spider-Man and everything. Of course, it's like a big villain of Spider-Man stuff is Venom here so that's really cool so we've got all that and then of course if you want to I assume you can take this stuff off his head or you just won't leave it it doesn't really matter but you can switch his head out to the actual Venom head so you can switch to the, this version if you want to which I don't like it's got like paint spots there up in the corner of the eyes which maybe it's supposed to be maybe not I don't know it's kind of hard to tell they look almost intentional not exactly sure but it's got the big yellow teeth there and of course the tongue and everything I'm surprised the tongue's not sticking out but you know I guess they just do whatever so we've got that face there then of course the last thing is the foot for the monster venom with the metallic black going on there so we've got the right foot for venom there and from the box says Eddie Brock takes vengeance on his skeptics as the all-consuming spine chilling symbiote venom and so that's gonna be it for the venom figure Next up here we've got Carnage, so another version of the symbiotes, another villain of Spider-Man and everything. So this time it is Cletus Cassidy, so you can see his face there. Of course these are all the faces that just come on the figures. If it was me I'd definitely be switching out its head. But Cletus Cassidy there, so he's a evil looking red head, so he's got the red hair, eyebrows and everything. Then that giant smile and those evil looking eyes like, ooh, they're gonna kill you just wants to kill you um but here we've got the carnage so it's all black and white or black and white black and red this time as you can see so a different version you know of a venom again i don't know exactly how all the symbiotes work and stuff i know it's just you know like a little like thing that you know spreads around to people and it changes 
depending on certain things and stuff. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. But um, just for some of his powers, we'll go ahead and do that. It's got, it's got similar, similar symbiote abilities to Venom, so all these people have pretty much all the same powers. Um, but he can throw uh, symbiote weapons, which we can see, you know, like a weapon here that looks like something he could possibly do and stuff, so he can form like little knives and stuff and throw them at people and everything. And then he can morph his appendages again, as you see here, with this giant blade on his hand and everything. So we'll go into the figure now. So there, of course, was his face, and I said it's the all red and black, so it's like the red, then all these like little like splitting through. It's like the venom almost, like trying to spread throughout his body and stuff is what it looks like, but I assume it's just like the red design there. Or black design, sorry. Um, then he, of course, has all these red spindly things like tendrils and everything coming off of him. I like this thing on the back, which you can take off there again, possibly, you know, being the cover up there for his head. It's got stuff on his elbows here. Then going down into his hands, so we've got this hand that forms into this giant blade. Um, you know, it's like a giant axe or something that he can use as a weapon. Then this hand, it's got giant... Uh, fingers and then this one I don't know what's supposed to be it's just like an additional thing coming off of his finger not exactly sure but they're even bigger nasty and pointier and so it can like you know rip you apart and everything no special movements it looks like so it's the same Marvel Legend figure as always going down his legs continue on he's got these tendril things coming off of him and then going down to his feet and everything so it just looks really cool I love the look of carnage and stuff I like the red and black mixture together can I get him to stand up now since I moved his hand all around, probably not. There we go. And then you can switch out his head here. So he does come with the carnage head. So again, continue on with the red and the black going on there. Then it's got the white eyes and everything. Whoops. And then giant mouth there and everything. So that would definitely be better that I'll be switching that out for and everything. So you can see yeah, what it looks like kind of there. Then it has normal hands you can switch out. So if you don't want, you know, the giant fingers or the um, axe blade, you can switch these out to these hands as well so it looks a little more normal and then for the venom build figure we've got venom's head or monster venom's head going on there and this time it's got the tongue sticking out and everything so looks cool and so from the box it says merged with the toxic venom symbiote cletus cassidy hones his psychopathic tendencies as the merciless villain carnage so you can see by his face he is a psychopath and everything so that's gonna be it for the carnage figure then next up here we have Poison and so this is an interesting character because I, of course I don't know much about these characters so I looked them up and so when I looked it up it says that this is a female and her name is Cecilia Cardinale or Cardinal something like that and so of course for her ability she's got the superhuman abilities and stuff like all of them she can fly teleport and alter the flesh of other people so by looking at them she can like melt their skin or do something like that and like kill them it's kind of weird but from the breeding the box for this figure which we'll do here at the very end you kind to learn this is someone different as you can see it doesn't look like a female at all so it's kind of interesting what that is stuff so we'll look at it or read that at the very end but we'll look here of its face first so i've never seen this character before like i've of course seen venom and carnage and all sorts of the other characters but never seen this one and it looks different and cool but i like it so there's a look at its face there so it's got a weird it looks like you know more of a mask or a robotic face going on there which its whole body does look more robotic compared to you know like the normal symbiotes where they have all the like morphine and changing skin and everything so that looks really cool and i like the black eyes and that mouth and everything then going into the suit so it's just an all white suit and again it does look very robotic and everything um so it's kind of interesting um then it as you can see the very noticeable thing it's got the spider here on its chest so it's a black this looks kind of like anti-venom like with the white and the black and everything but it's you know poison and stuff and so it's got the spider and then the spider's got the tendrils coming off of it so it must be like the venom type part of the symbiote here and it you know reaches out and all sorts of stuff from here in the middle and everything and i really like that and think it looks cool but going through its body again it's a normal marvel and it's all the same movements but i like here on its like elbows and stuff it's got these points that got the silver design into it then of course all throughout here you can see it's got the silver paints through all the joints again making it look very robotic it's got some pointy fingernails there not like sharp claws but they are still pointy and everything and then carrying on with that silver going down through the white down to the feet so not a whole lot going on. I like the back again. I'm pretty sure this is like a robot, but again, from what I looked up, it's not the. It wasn't this description at all. So it's kind of weird. But again, very robotic. It's got the spine and everything going on there and it looks really cool but let's just read it from the box real quick it says believing himself to be a living miracle after seemingly coming back from the dead the symbiote possessed peter parker rejects the venom identity and names himself poison so this is peter parker after supposedly dying and everything and so again i did not see that in the information i read 
but that seems really cool and so he's in this whole weird suit thing and again I'd like to know if it is a robotic suit or if it's just the new form of the symbiote on him and stuff but it looks really cool and everything and I like that he doesn't come with any like weapons or anything so that's kind of boring and stuff but he does come with the left arm of the monster venom and everything so that's really cool so that's gonna be it for poison and the next character here, which is so fun and awesome, is Spider-Ham, a.k.a. Peter Porker. That's right, you heard it. Porker is his last name, Peter Porker. And so it's so much fun and interesting to learn about this. So obviously he's from, like, another world or dimension. Again, I couldn't really, like, narrow it down exactly what he was from. But it is a pig that gets, of course, bitten by the spider, you know, that gave like spider-man or similar to spider-man getting his ability and stuff but then he became spider ham so as you can see he's got the pig head here with the pig nose and i like so he's got the spider-man eyes there of course he's got some weird ears um normal pig ears don't look like that but that's kind of interesting and then they're on the nose instead of like this the like nostrils stuff it looks like more spider-man eyes so i like the way that looks and it's interesting stuff and then he's, of course, in a, just a normal looking Spider-Man outfit, nothing different or special here. But this figure is different and special. So since this is different, he does have some, you know, head movement. Oh, there's his mouth too. He has head movements. It's just like a ball, so it can, you know, completely twist around and move just up and down a little. Not a whole lot there. Then going down his body, he's just one solid, uh, like, torso part here. It's just all solid. Then he's got his uh, uh, shoulder joints that can move, you know, back and forth and spin around. Then he's got a little tiny elbow joint there and then a wrist joint. And he's got, of course, his hands doing the whole Spider-Man web shooting part there and stuff. So that's cool. Same on both sides. That's an open hand. Then he's just got a waist here that just spins around and does. it's like a ball-type joint. So it can, like, twist around and move there. No knee joints or anything, but it does have some shin parts here that can twist around and help you adjust the feet and everything to get him to stand up and everything so that's just so much fun um so for some of the accessories comes with he comes with another head of the venom and i believe this is called pork grind i think is how you call it so it's like you know pork grind but pork grind is what this is called so it's a venom version so you can see he's got the all black version there he's got more of the eyes there on his nose and he's got these giant teeth coming out of his mouth being all nasty and evil like venom and everything so that's kind of cool that they have that he needs like a body to go with it though like of the outfit um but just for some of the powers of um spider him here he has all the powers of spider-man so anything spider-man can do he can do it as well he's just a pig um but for venom the monster venom he comes with the giant body part here of venom so the main body and then a back piece that attaches on so you can put the arms on first and then attaches to make him look ginormous and everything and he'll be huge so there we've got that and then from the box it says part pig part spider part scientific mishap peter porker becomes a web shooting swine spider ham so that's so much fun so that's gonna be it for spider ham next up here we have scream and so this is an interesting venom or symbiote character just because of look at how much different it is compared to the others and so as you can clearly see this one is a female and her name is donna diego is who gets taken over by this symbiote here so we'll go and start off with her face so there she has a normal a face pretty similar to uh, venom so that's kind of interesting that she has the like pretty much the exact same face as venom there compared to her body you know i feel it should be like you know the gold, uh, yellow gold color instead of the black but that's i guess just what they did then going there from there you can see she's got this long luscious hair coming back here so it's the gold i'm just going to call it gold it's like a yellow color gold um metallic yellow so i'll say gold and then this red stripe going on through there as well so that looks really cool having her face there then of course going into body she does have the female body so she's got skinnier limbs of course she's got breast goat on there and stuff and then the same body parts as everywhere else but she's got this so the gold design like i said and then brown splots is all over so it kind of runs like a cow or something just the design and everything but then she's got the hands that we saw back with carnage and everything so the um giant like claw like hands and everything but again all the same movements and then going down she's just got the feet there again with all this brown on the inside then on her um sides here and stuff and then forearms or the underarm parts there so there's not a whole lot going on or interesting about this figure and stuff it's just you know all solid it doesn't have any special movements or anything so there's nothing really to talk about it's super hard to get to stand up because of her hair 
yeah, I'll just get it there and leave it. Um, but just for some of her powers, says she has super strength. She has all the powers of Venom. So as usual, all these people usually have the same. And then she can also she also uses her hair as a weapon, and it's pretty much just like Medusa from the Inhumans. You know, she has a really long hair, can use it to fight and beat people up and everything. She doesn't come with any accessories or changeable parts or anything, but she does come with, of course, the Venom. She got with the right arm of Venom. And so we're almost done with building Venom, or the Monster Venom now, but from her box says, A former security guard, Donna Diego, is merged with the components of the Venom symbiote and becomes the terror, t or sorry, tendrilled villain, Scream. And so I assume if, like, she's in the movie and stuff, she'd be really nasty and probably yell and scream a lot and stuff, but that looks really cool. So that's going to be it for Scream. And our last figure here is of Typhoid Mary, a.k.a. Mary Walker. And so this is kind of an interesting character and why they put it in here, I'm not exactly sure. But from what, everything I could see, she has been like a Daredevil character. So she was like, a, I believe, an ex-girlfriend of Daredevil. And then, of course, once breaking up and stuff, she turns evil and everything. So she's f usually fights against Daredevil and everything. But just for some of her powers and abilities before we get into her look and stuff, she's a super skilled athlete. She has pyrokinesis, which we'll see some in here in a second telekinesis mind control and super strength so she's you know for this this um girl like this she's got a lot of powers and abilities so look it up at her face here so she's got the long reddish brown hair going on there which looks really nice then her face where she's painted half white i don't know exactly why she does that if it's for any certain reason but she's got that half um painted face there because i think she's got kind of like a two-faced character like she'll be nice you know one way and then a certain time she'll become a killer and everything i believe is what i read not exactly sure but then going down she's got a black leather jacket with these shoulder pads so the shoulder pads limit her arm movement so she can't move a whole lot but then you know she's got all the normal arm movements of a female marvel legends figure and everything then going down she's got the white shirt on there that you know it's very skimpy and stuff and shows a lot of skin and everything but that's you know how someone would dress like that and everything but all the same moves so the ab crunches and everything then going down she's got a leather or a brown leather belt on there with the giant buckles you can see there then she's got black pants on one side going all the way down then on the other side she's got some fishnets but of course they're all torn and ripped and everything as they'd be for a villain and so you can see her skin underneath there then going down into her boots there which i don't know i don't know if these boots have a certain name but of course like a lot of superheroes or characters used to wear them like these captain america used to have you know boots similar to this you know just solid boots and then these giant like cuffs at the top of them which look really funny but i like them as well and so that's it for her the for her figure there then she does come with a weapon she just comes with a sword with fire around it so that goes with that pyrokinesis there so you can you know just control and uh fight manipulate fire and stuff and set stuff on fire and so that's a part of her like killing stuff there as well and so she's got that sword for her hand and everything then for venom our last piece here we've got the left foot of venom so we now have or monster venom so we now have all of that to build and from her box says one of mary walker's three distinct identities so there you got three different people going in there typhoid mary is a brutal combatant with the disturbing ability to set things on fire with her mind so there she'll just be careful, she might set you on fire or something. But that's going to be it for Typhoid Mary. So we now have all the pieces for Monster Venom here, so let's go ahead and put them together. And so here it is all put together, the Build-A-Figure Monster Venom. So this is more of the Venom that you, I feel you'd like normally see or something like this big giant monster, which is going to be very similar to what we see in the movie, it looks like from the trailers and everything. Just this big giant monster. So for comparison, we've got that, then we have the normal Venom here. And um, you can see there's not that much difference, so I feel this should have been a bit bigger, but, you know, it's still a big figure and everything, a giant build a figure, and of course size-wise and stuff, you know, it's ginormous. Um, and everything and he's super swole look at those muscles and everything but um so yeah i feel it should be bigger but you know what can you do about that so we're looking at here and so there of course we've got its nasty giant face there with the tongue sticking out oh, mouth opening super wide and everything so that's you know like kind of like the normal classic venom look with the tongue sticking out and everything um paint wise this is very interesting so it's like a b metallic black and like purple mixture like it looks black but then it's also like in the light and stuff it's got some purple hints to it so it could just be really dark purple but it looks like a mixture of black and purple as well um there you can see the giant white spider there of course across his chest as venom has and then there on the back as well then he's got some tendrils coming out of the back of his shoulder 
shoulder blades here and on his arm as you can see there and shoulder or over here and so it just looks super cool then he's got the giant claw so he's got the claws and very sharp points and going in there and stuff then down his legs into his feet where he's got this sharp, sharp pointed toes as well so he's just a giant monster of a character and everything and he doesn't have unless the joints are just super stiff I don't know I can't really get his arms like his elbow oh no there he goes they're just stiff and so he's got big joints actually it's a giant like elbow joint I don't know if you can see it there compared to just the small little ones it's pretty big there and of course all the normal joints of a Marvel Legends so again nothing special to look at or go on with there and so that's going to be it for Venom, it look, or Monster Venom, I'm sorry, the Venom Wave with Build-A-Figure of Monster Venom. I can't get him to stand up. There we go. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments down below which favorite figure you like the most or which just superhero in general out of the set that you like the most. And of course, how awesome this Monster Venom is. But don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos, and we'll see you next time.